let's flip it a bit. You are in the middle of the night, rushing somewhere. There is no traffic on the road. There are no cops, apparently no CCTV cameras. And there is a red signal. What do you tend to do? Whenever I ask this question in leadership sessions, almost 95% of the responses, I would jump the signal. That's why there's a beautiful saying in English. Character is what you are in the dark. This second response is what I would call as unmonitored response. What would you do when you are very certain that nobody is watching you? Or maybe you think nobody is watching you. That's when our subconscious response or our natural response tends to come out. Many times, under pressure, under stress, people take the second route because their natural self comes out. And normally, that is a self that people are not accustomed to seeing. And hence, people get confused. Leadership journey is all about matching the monitored and the unmonitored. The lesser the variance, more predictable you are as a leader. And hence, more reliable you tend to become as a leader. People will count on how you respond, irrespective of what the situation is. This is a very important facet of leadership, a very important quality for every leader to possess in the journey of leadership. It's not often that you will find people walking the talk. People, when they are given a chance to communicate, they speak eloquently or communicate eloquently about values, about the do's and do's of the don'ts of the organization. But when it comes to themselves, do they really follow? We all have a child hidden in us in one way. We tend to ape our parents when we are young. We tend to ape our teachers when we are at school. And we carry that syndrome into our workplace as well. We tend to ape our superiors. That's why there's a famous saying, people do not do as you tell them to do. People do as you do. Hence, consciously, leaders have to cultivate this habit of matching what they say and what they do. And how actually they are. This is exactly where the balance of attitude and behavior comes in. As they humorously say, the audio and video should match. Audio is the spoken word. Video is what others observe of you. If you are able to do that, you will inspire trust. You will inspire confidence in people. The TAT framework that I spoke about in the earlier episodes would start taking shape. Time for you to think. What kind of leader are you? Do you talk something and then do something else? Or how you think and what you do matches, if not exactly, to a great extent. If you do that, you have taken some major strides in your growth in the leadership journey. And as a leader, something for you to think and work on. See you soon in the next episode. Thank you.